time for our regular visit from Joe Borgia, the Senior Vice President of Replay and Referee Operations. Joe, good to speak to you as always. Joe's with us from uh, beautiful Secaucus, New Jersey. There was a play in the third quarter of tonight's Bulls-Celtics game where uh, Marcus Smart went to the basket, was met by Dwayne Wade. There was contact on the play, but no foul was called. Take us through it if you would. Sure. So you have Marcus uh, drives to the basket here. And what Dwayne Wade has to do is he has to get out of the spot directly in Marcus's path. And he has to be there before Marcus starts his upward motion. And upward motion to us is when Marcus's shoulders go up. And Dwayne does that. Now, the big thing that Dwayne does is he jumps vertical once he gets to that spot. Now, it looks like his body is moving, but that's actually due to the contact from Marcus actually turns his body. So I know Brendan definitely likes this play because, you know, it's usually a big in there and they jump vertical. And we don't want cheap fouls called on the bigs or anybody else that jumps vertical. So this is a legal play by Dwayne. And since the contact was initiated more by Marcus and was marginal, there is no foul by either player on this game. And it's a good example for fans at home as well that there can be contact, but not necessarily a foul on the play. Uh, in the game we just saw, the Jazz and the Clippers, second quarter, Chris Paul was assessed a blocking foul while trying to jar, uh, draw a charge rather on Gordon Hayward. From your perspective, was it correctly interpreted? Yes, uh, the interpretation is on an outlet pass. Any player that catches the ball outside the lower defensive box, which is next to the basket, the defender's got to be at the spot, but he has to give the player catching the ball the opportunity to avoid contact after catching it. And I think what you'll see here is I know Mo did this a lot. You catch, and as soon as he turns, he doesn't even get his first step down, and Chris Paul was there. So Chris did not give him that opportunity to avoid contact. Therefore, this is a blocking foul because it was outside the lower defensive box.